I guess I'm just that guy this year because not only do Arsenal want me, but now Juventus want me and Spurs still in the running for me as a manager. And you see me in my street clothes, you're probably thinking, oh, wait a minute, Skills, you're about to take another job, aren't you? Now, nah, I'm not going to take another job. I'm going to ride out with Liverpool, but it's just interesting that Arsenal wants me, still with Welbeck, still with Sanchez, Uzil, Elnani, Coquelin. They have a great team, but no big moves there. We look at the Spurs team, and still no big moves there. Waniyama, ben, um, Dembele, Eriksen, nothing to really stand out. And then Juventus, DeMarcos is a big move. They got them at right back. Cordrado, uh, Dembele, I mean, excuse me, Dybala, and Iguain. So, really, none of the teams making any moves during the transfer window. Speaking of transfer windows, we're right around the corner from the winter window, and I'm pretty excited about that. We're taking on, like, an eighth-place Chelsea. I swear to you guys, they're having a terrible season. Ninth-place Chelsea with five draws, three losses, and four wins. I mean, that's what happens when you try to pick up Andy Carroll. Things like that happen. Speaking of Andy Carroll, West Ham chilling in third place. Liverpool in first with 30 for, uh, 31. United in third, in second with 30. That's a big rivalry right there. United and Liverpool, they hate each other, man. And they're the ones battling it out. So now with this game coming up, I would say a big one. But seeing where Chelsea's at, we got to win this. There's no big nothing, no nada. This is a must-win getting game against Chelsea simply because... Um, they're in ninth place, and I know they're the London Blues, Chelsea. It doesn't matter. They're in ninth place, which means we must win this game. Uh, pretty nice lineup I'm putting out for this one, I think. I think I'm rocking out with this one. Straight up, pretty simple lineup. The boy Ox... Um, to play right mid for this game? Nah, I think I'm going to ride with Salah Mane, Felipe Coutinho. Nah, 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 nah. Let's get Felipe Coutinho out of there. Who's our cam going to be for this one? We don't really give Chan enough playing time, in my opinion. I guess we rock out with Wijnaldum. I don't know if he's really the cam we want, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put Mane at cam. Or maybe even Roberto. Roberto at cam. Mane at striker? Nah, we'll keep Mane outside on the wing. And then at striker, we'll go ahead and rock out with Cristiano and Batman. I know you're probably like skills. That's not a good duo. That's an actual terrible duo. Now nah, it's going to be a good duo. I promise you. They're going to find goals. We'll find a way. Slider is still the same that you guys saw us adapt to in the beginning of the year. Or the beginning of this season. And um, they've been all right. Let me know down below if you want me to change. And we'll find out after we see what we do against Chelsea. Ninth place, Chelsea, I might. So this is a big one simply because I really want to see where we stand with the sliders. And not only that, I want to see why Chelsea is in ninth place. Is it their formation? Is it their tactics? What's interesting to me is that the team that's in ninth place doesn't want me as a manager. I mean, Spurs want me. They're doing better than Chelsea. Arsenal want me. They're doing better than Chelsea. And Juventus want me. So as I see that, I'm like, yo, Chelsea, what's going on, man? You don't see me a, a, good, a, good, a good person to take the job for you guys. But I guess not. They're really Antonio's their guy. I guess it is. My boy Hazard sends a great pass into Diego Costa, who still plays for Chelsea in this career mode, but in real life, a part of Atletico Madrid, no longer a part of Chelsea, and he wins a foul. So big boy Diego Costa, who I think Chelsea should have stayed with and played. I know the coaches have their differences, but that's who I think should have been playing as Hazard puts one. Puts, puts some power on it, but out of bounds. Hazard, man. I mean, uh, I think Buffon had that. That's what I meant to say. Big, big Buffon, he had that covered. My man Van Dyke can't get to it. Hazard. Oh, Hazard just put the move on Alberto Moreno, who's supposed to be playing. There's Rose. Van Dyke turns. Oh, man. Hazard just turned Van Dyke inside out. A penalty for Chelsea. Well, I'm not even sure what to say. Hazard just did me. Look at the turn inside. I never expected the CPU to hit me with some cheese, but they did. Hazard, which way you going, my man? Is it this way? Nope. 1-0. To the team in ninth place. 1 0 to the London Blues. 1 0 no, no to Chelsea. Oh man. My boy Salah with a nice steal in the midfield. I look up the field. I see Mane into Cristiano. I want it back to Mane. Our passing is awful. It doesn't matter who plays the passes, it doesn't matter what happens. Our passing is absolutely awful this game. Maybe I should have played Felipe Coutinho to see if he could spring together some passes. Van Dyke sends it up to my boy Alberto Moreno, who looks inside to the young German. I see Mane finally. No, I am telling you, when I tell you our passing is awful, I can't wait to show you all the percentages. Back to Pedro, now into Florenzi, back into Pedro. We're in trouble here. Pedro dancing with it. Pedro still with it as he takes a shot before him. Oh, man. Chelsea kind of putting, putting it on us. Cristiano, a chance to accelerate, use his speed. VK Hill. Cristiano. We haven't been good. We haven't been good, but we've been okay. We've been, we've been good enough to get back into it. Point back, period. But we have not been good this game. A nice through pass, a counterattack goal, and Anfield is going nuts because Cristiano, the Brazilian, the old man that we signed for pretty much nothing, 
comes up massive in one of the biggest games of the season. A good shot, low driven away from the keeper. And it's 1-1. That's a great steal. I give it a Batman. I take a shot. I mean, I take a fake shot. Into Salah. Back out. Back in. Salah's with it. I said that into the middle. It was going to the Brazilian. Florenzi put it out, but that was going right to Cristiano. I thought we had him, man. I truly thought we had him beat. Good pass to Batman. Hey, ref, 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 ref. That has to be a foul. Contact encounter. What do you do here? What do you do? When in doubt, take him out. I missed. Offside, offside if he passes. Good pa good tackle. Alberto Moreno. Nice pass. Opportunity. I slide and I miss. Van Dyke with another missed tackle. Ball to the middle and the old man. Buffon saves the day. We can counter. Oh, man, we got this. I, I looked at the radar. We can see it. I see it. We can go. We can go. Roberto? Still Roberto. Damn, Chelsea's defense is fast. I cut back. Roberto. Ah, I lost it. Damn it. Hey, so as we make it to halftime, look at our passing. It's actually 87%. That's actually low, though. I'm telling you, it should be less than that. 87%, 50-50% on possession. Um, but this game is interesting, man. What formation is Chelsea in? Because I am struggling to break down Chelsea. And that's not something that usually happens. They are in a five-back. All right. Uh, they're in a five-back. Starting to make a little bit more sense now, huh? A five-back formation for Chelsea. I'm going to ride like this till the 60th minute and then switch it up. A five-back formation for a team like Chelsea. Mm -mm -mm. Buffon sends it up to Salah. Nice one-two here. We got something going now. I see you, Mane. What a ball to Mane. Come on, baby. Fake shot. Mane still with it. I see Cristiano. I give it to the Brazilian. Bang! Off the bench. Not a not a every game starter. I decided today was a good day to throw him into the lineup. And uh, man, did I get it right? Mane fake shot, cut back, looks up, sees Cristiano and the low driven for Nessi. Two one, big boy Cristiano. We'll take that. Bakioko, a good find to Diego Costa. Slide in there, Van Dyke. Well done. Here we go, baby. Opportunity, Roberto, and I just I can't get by them. Good pass. Mane. An opportunity for Mane. The fake shot, Mane. Into Batman, into Batman. Batman turn for Nessie. We got a pen, so we're not going to complain. But at the end of the day, should he have let it play on? Because was I going to score? It's, I think it's Pedro Florenzi giving away a really bad pen. Roberto steps up, but the only way to do it is to give it to Cristiano. I know he's probably not the best penalty taker, but at the end of the day, he's on a hat trick, so we got to give it to him. The boy Cristiano, the boy Cristiano! Hat trick for the Brazilian Cristiano who doesn't even start for us. Well played for the Brazilian, 31 years old as well. I brought him in for cheap and you know sometimes, man, you just gotta lock down, bros. There ain't no point of BSing around here no more. We're, st we're simply gonna lock it up, man. 4-3-3 three, uh, three, three defending. We're gonna go ahead and put Salah out on the wing alongside Mane. Actually, I might pull one of them. Roberto will go there. We're going to bring in a CDM that goes by the name of Henderson. We're going to bring in Lalana and also uh, Will Naldum. We're going to change the, the entire midfield, freshen it up, get some CDMs, and get somebody to hold the game and lock it up, get these three points here in Anfield against London side Chelsea, who are struggling this year. I steal that with Will Naldum. Damn, he just got bodied by Cahill. A good pass and a hazard. You can see they're, they're all out, man. They're all out attacking and Klein steals. They're going to go for it now. I see you, Cristiano. I drop it into the Brazilian. The Brazilian, the beast. Can he return the favor to Mane? Mane won the penalty. Ah. I try to give it out to Mane. Mane won the penalty, so I try to return the favor to Mane with a goal. But maybe I should have taken the shot. Lalana. Nowhere to really go. Hazard. Lalana. The Brazilian man, Cristiano. Mane's with it. Mane turns. Mane shoots. 4-1. Just like that. Wiggity, wiggity, whack. Let's go, baby. My boy Mane gets the goal, and what a play. Cristiano gets the assist. And as you can see, the first half was difficult. The first half, we were getting smacked. Chelsea was all over us. We couldn't connect passes. Second half, we made some adjustments, man. We just put our team together. We started passing the ball around lovely. After that goal, everything came together nicely. It's going to be a massive win against a team that we really struggled against. I got to say that this was definitely one of the hardest games of the season. Good job, Buffon. Definitely one of the hardest games of the season. But Chelsea in their five back just stayed in a shell and never really went for the game, man. They took the lead and kind of just gave up. Unlucky for them. Maybe they're trying to get Antonio fired. Lalana with a good steal. Mane. I'm going to swing that one all the way up top to Salah. Will it get there? It does. Big boy Salah. Nowhere to really go. I cut back inside. I see Cristiano. Can I get it to him? I guess to Lalana instead. 
Back to Henderson, back to Wijnaldum. Look at the pass, and this is the, this is the passing of a team that's about to win a championship. Henderson. Good pass. Henderson, let's it rip. Well, that that's fine. GG's, bro. Bro, the whistle left. This one's over. All right, bros, you hear the full-time whistle. That's it. Three points in Anfield against a great team. And as I said, I know the scoreline shows 4-1, but realistically, we, we did not play good the first half. Cristiano Ronaldo, I wish it was Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano saved us. And you can see in the second half, our pass accuracy went up a lot, man. Went up 3%. We were so bad in the first half trying to connect passes. When I brought in the midfield at the end of the game, that's when I really started striving. That Ronaldo and stuff really played well. But big ups to my boy Mane winning a very important penalty and Cristiano getting better. Big goals. Let's see what's up next on the schedule. Now, we get an offer in for Felipe Coutinho, and it's to Arsenal. Arsenal want to pick up Felipe Coutinho, and they offer $62 million. Now, I am going to negotiate um, because we want anywhere from, as you can see on, on, on the screen, it just said 88 to 120. I'm going to tell them they got to give $100 million, man. Like, straight up, I want to make money on this guy. And every time I go to buy somebody in career mode, they go nuts, man. So... Unless you give me 112 million for Felipe Coutinho, there's kind of going to be no conversation here. Um, yo, look, look, look at Arsene Wenger. How do you still have a job, sir? Uh, 92. Otherwise, you know, 92 is even pushing it, man. All right, get out of my office then. That's what I like to see. I like to see a mad Arsene Wenger because you deserve to be mad right now the way you have your team playing. Get out of my office, man. So with that being said, bros, Big off for Felipe Coutinho. Obviously rejected. I wanted to pick up 112 million. Let me know if that's if that's being greedy. But I'm gonna be real with you, man. The, the team, the, the 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 board says he's worth 88 to 120. Now this is a cup that I really don't care too much about. Again, about it's against Crystal Palace. So I'm just gonna go ahead and simulate this bad boy. Hopefully get a win still. Even though we don't care about it, we still want to sim and try to win. So hopefully EA does us good. But as I said, man, the board says 88 to 120. I want as much as possible. This guy only offered 62 for Felipe Coutinho. I'm not in the mood to hear nonsense out of your mouth. Please get out of my office. My man Benteke goes out. He gets subbed out. And as you can see, Townsend scores. Sacco gets a red card. Roberto saves the day all in a span of minutes. And a 1-1 result looks like how it's going to go. We go into extra time. Now with them playing with a red card, we better get this dub. Wow. Okay. Mane saves the day. Roberto and Mane. We go to penalties and we're going to save the day, baby. We're going to win on pens. Thank goodness for that. Real talk. I don't even know how Crystal Palace would, without soccer with a red card took us that far, but they did. Four points. Top of the table above Manchester United, even further away from City. And that's when I turn to you guys and say we are going to simulate this game as well. Now my boy Mane, player of the month. Excited about that. But we're going to simulate this game. Being four points clear, I'm cool to simulate this game and uh, hopefully still get a dub. But I'm cool to simulate this because I do want to get to the winter time. I want to get Felipe continue out of here. I want to get Lalana out of here because he's no longer happy, which makes me sad because I do like Lalana, but I'm not starting him. So I understand Felipe Coutinho. The only reason I'm starting him during these simulations is because then he gets playing time. Time, he's scoring goals he's in a happier mood which means when we sell him we make more money so with that being said hopefully he still gets us a win they scored but then my boy Roberto comes right back down the field and scores right back on them which means we could walk out here with another three points if not doesn't matter we still be top of the table hopefully we walk out here with three though we do we walk out of here with three points man not bad three points that I think that we should have got no matter what big win right there um and with the Chelsea game I think the sliders might be okay. I know you guys don't like when I simulate, but that game, if we would have lost, we still would have been in first place. And now we have another game that I'm going to simulate because this doesn't really matter. Going in first place or going in second place to me doesn't really matter. So if we lose this game against Nice, who have zero points in Europe, in the Champions League, zero points in the group. If we lose this game, we lose first place if Barca win. But at the same time, I don't really care to go in first or second. This the Champions League. All the teams are good. We're going to lose games. I mean, we can't. We got to beat whoever we get. We can't lose games. So I don't care who we get. My boy Mane comes up absolutely big here against the French side. Balotelli, Snyderland. You know, we should sign Balotelli. Bring him back to Liverpool. We should bring back Liverpool. Smash, bring back, smash a thumbs up if you want me to bring back Balotelli. Hashtag the return of Balo. Big boy Continuo scores again we're up 2-0 and we leave here Felipe Coutinho scoring a lot of goals we're gonna make more money on this guy 2-0 we win top of the group Champions League top of the group easy peasy we only said we only I think we simulated two games because we already have qualified and look United drop points again mental to me United drop points again we are at December 10th which means we are this close to the opening of the transfer window. Now Everton being a big side in England are struggling. They are 12th. 12 points on the season in 19th. 
I'm simulating this game because if they beat us, I'm almost happy for them. And I know a lot of Liverpool fans out there like skills don't say that. Don't you get you get Everton relegated? Hey, look, I'm not a hater, bro. I like the EPL. I like all big teams in the EPL. I'm not trying to see no team like this get relegated. So I'm just gonna simulate this game. If they win, they win. We're seven points clear either way. So we Gucci. I want to get to the transfer window so we can start having some fun. They got a player named Coco. Y'all seen that movie? That's good. Balassi. I like him. I like him a lot. 59th minute. How is the team that is about to get relegated about to beat us or about to tie with us? 80th minute. Still nothing popping. As you can see right there, it's coming to an end. We draw. I'm not mad at that, yo. Let Everton get some. Let, boys, boys, calm down. Let Everton get some mojo going. Let, they, let their blood stay flowing. Let them get them their, their feet back out of them because they about to get relegated. Chelsea back. I mean, United back four points. Ooh, there's a lot of games before the winner, bro. Ooh, there's a lot. Arsenal. So, wait. If we simulate these next three. Then in the next episode, I play the next three. The transfer window opens. Let's simulate. I think we, I think we simulate, bros. I think we. Oh, we need results though, man. I hope we get results. Here we go. Here we go, bros. Big results, bros. West Brom versus Liverpool at Anfield. We need this result. We just a win here, so that way if we lose one of them. We'll still be in first place when I take over in the last three games. Roberto finds the back of the net. Batman is not scoring at all, bro. We really need to talk about that in the wintertime. A lot of you guys didn't want me to sign him, but Batman didn't score against Chelsea. He hasn't really score, been scoring as of late. Mane, Roberto, all on it. Mane scores again. Felipe Coutinho, and, and, and it's a 4-1 victory. Batman has not done his job, and you guys did not want me to sign him. So maybe I made a mistake. Big game right here, bros. We're going to simulate again. And right now, as it stands, we are, what is that, three? Five points clear of United. And United is the only team. Actually, no, we're not. 30. Wait, they've played already. But we're five points clear as long as we win. And United is the team putting pressure on us. Let's be honest. It's not City. It's not Chelsea. It's United. So shout out to United for making this a competitive league. My man Batman heard me talking about him. He hits the back of the net in the 14th minute. And then Roberto scores again. And we get a 3-1 victory. Another one, bros, another one. We have put ourselves in such a good place that we can simulate, but the only reason I'm doing is, like I said, I want to get to the winter time, bros, and I want to I want to, I want to, buy some players. All right, bros, one more simulation, and that's it. It's Stoke City versus Liverpool, and we're going to win. My boy, Felipe Coutinho, who is on the exit seat, okay? He is out of here. This guy is on the exit seat. He's going to be leaving. Up next, we have Arsenal, which I'm going to play in the next episode. As you can see right now, we, we are, look how far we are. Like, I don't understand how these teams the one thing i gotta say about career mode that i don't really like when it comes to down to it is if i'm performing this good then the team under you in a league like the epl should be competing at a higher level united and city city has 33 points bro with the team that they have that's just absolute nonsense and then man united have 39 which means we are so far ahead of these teams that we could lose the next three games and still be in first place but i'm going to play the next three games in the next episode and we're going to kick off the winter transfer window in the next episode so please in the comments down below please let me know who you want me to sign and who should i trade felipe coutinho for please let me know down below winter transfers up next i can't wait i'm boosted it's gonna be sick you don't want to miss it let's go i'm sorry like i'm trying so hard to get there as quick as possible i just want felipe Coutinho gone and i want to build liverpool without felipe who's left in real life we out of here Boom. <laughs>